Happy Planner meets Mixed Media. Creative Katie, that's me, Karen Burchell. Learn how to use your mixed media supplies, stash, and techniques to create unique planner spreads without spending extra money. In this spread, we're going to use some 3D embellishments from our stash. We're going to repurpose those tiny stamps as bullets, and we're going to create custom stickers. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you won't miss any upcoming planner videos or mixed media videos as well. So this is the last week of March and my color theme for March was this blue green. And so I pulled out all the jelly prints that had those colors, some of the ATCs or um, ATC size cards that had left over paint. And I noticed these butterflies and this I had made these following a tutorial on YouTube. They were sitting on my desk and they were the perfect color to match the theme. So then I decided, okay, I'm going to grab out some more butterfly stamps. I grabbed up my usual stamps that I put, and I thought, you know what, the little things and enjoying those special moments, kind of. Uh, so I pulled out some quotes, and there a theme for a planner spread was born. So I decided that I'm going to put these um, butterflies like that, and I'm going to try to keep them 3D, but we'll see how that goes. And one of them is finished and one of them's not. So this one is just watercolored on watercolor paper. And so I'm just going to splatter it with some black paint, some gold paint, and some white paint just to match the other one. If you want to watch the tutorial that I followed, uh, the name of the artist is Nina Rubina. And um, she has some wonderful, wonderful videos, so um, check it out. My butterflies don't look half as, ama as amazing as hers, but I do like the process. So I'm just splattering and doing that. And then I noticed this ATC card that has the background colors. I just kind of did some smooshing and cleaning up of leftover paint. So I said, you know what, to make it all work together, I'm going to splatter this with the same things that I'm splattering the butterflies with. And that way, these two separate elements are now going to have something that joins them. And that's a good way to make um, things within a spread or on an art journal page um, cohesive. And since I have more paint, I decided I'm going to splatter with the gold and then the black on the page. It's a quick, easy way to add color and interest to a planner spread. I'm not going to put a whole lot of color on this one. Last week I put, I used a lot of color, a lot of stencils, and this one's going to be on the more minim minimalistic side. So I went through my binder of quotes and I found a quote um, that reads, just when the caterpillar thought it was over, it became a butterfly. So I thought that was fitting for this page that, you know, is around those butterflies. They are definitely the focal point and the stars of my um, spread. And this are the Avery um, transparent sheets and I'm just cutting them to size and using them kind of like washi tape. I admit it, here and now I do not own a single roll of washi tape, nor do I plan on buying it. I can use these Avery stickers for this purpose, should I want something like that, or I can use them for other, other things that um, you've seen me use in this planner. I love using those Avery stickers and when I use up whatever leftover sash I have of them, I, you know, I can see myself buying some more and um, using it. So I'm just deciding to put a whole strip of these across the bottom of the page and it just grounds this page and it also brings some color into the page. As I said, I'm, I'm going a little bit minimalistic on this page. So there's my number stamp for my to-do list and as per usual, I have my to-do household kind of things in the top part and my to-do list for my YouTube channel and blog and the creative things on the bottom. And so during pre weeks of, you know, ahead of time, I might write things on there and then they will find their way onto a specific day. 
and I'm just labeling those with the same transparent um, stickers that I um, you painted with leftover paint from another project. I believe that was Dilutions Paints. So I have the Found That Create sticker in one of my sets of um, stamps and I just taken it out and I just keep that with the letter stamps that you just saw me spell out to do. I keep that all in a box amongst my planner stuff. So it's just there. It's something I'm probably going to use on every spread. So I'm going to edge this butterfly. Again, the other one was all finished. So I'm just edging it with some black acrylic paint and a makeup sponge. And that just sets it off. And I'm just coloring in the black of the body. And while I have the acrylic paint out, I'm just going to edge this uh, beginning of an ATC. It's a co colored card anyways. So in the spirit of hashtag use your supplies 2017, I'm continuing to use you know, those cards that I cleaned up paint on, the quotes that I have in my binder, um, and I'm trying to use different stamps in different ways. So I actually purchased a new sentiment stamp collection. It was a really good deal on Amazon. I know I'm supposed to be using my supplies, don't tell on me, and um, it was a really good deal. There were 18 sentiment stamps, and I, and I know I can use it on my planner, as you see me doing here. I have another sticker that I had colored previous to go with the theme, and I'm just stamping on that. Now, this time I stamped with black acrylic paint. Other times I've stamped with gold. Sometimes I've stamped with embossing powders. So you can, you know, make it as fancy as you want and it's very personalized. So I have my butterfly stamps and these stamps, <clears throat> excuse me, I've just purchased at the dollar store. Um, so they're not, not expensive and I'm combining it with one of the sentiment stamps and I'm stamping it on this jelly print that I glued to the other side of that ATC that you saw me splattering earlier and I'm st using black acrylic paint again and I just love how gorgeous this looks you know it just takes you know you got a background and now you have the sentiment and the, and the little butterfly and it just looks wonderful quick edging with the black cleaning it up and I thought oh you know what I'm gonna add some swirls you know lots of our um, collections have little little stamps that have swirls and stars and different things and you know as I'm looking at them I'm thinking I gotta get you start using them and this is a perfect place to use it just add that little bit of extra you know I wanted the black in there just to you no know, just add a little bit more interest so I glued the quote and I outlined it with my black Posca pen And there you see me using a stencil brush to clean those stencils after I use them with acrylic paint. And that's really important to keep your stamps clean and stamping. And here on the sticker, I decided I'm just going to add a little bit more interest and I'm just doing dashes all the way around. And I think I'm just going to add that here. If you put it one place, you should have it at least one other place on a page or on a planner spread. Just punching up the color a little bit, making it darker. And the Posca pen does not leak through. So I will be definitely using my colored Posca pen set um, on upcoming planner sets. I noticed that I had a tiny, tiny, tiny little butterfly in amongst my dollar store butterfly stamps. So I dug up my blue and my green in Dilutions paints and I'm just stamping into the paint and stamping these butterflies. So they are going to be the bullets of my kind of to-do lists for my YouTube channel or my blog. So instead of, you know, punching holes on the stickers as I've done on the top two uh, for my water, 
consumption, I'm just using that. So go through your stamps and find those little things. They're perfect size for a bullet. So I'm putting the butterflies on with gel medium and I'm just kind of doing the center part. I'm hoping to be, that I'll be able to just let it be 3D. I really like that effect and I think it makes the spread a little extra special. But we'll see how it works in reality. Then amongst my, some of my dollar store stickers there, I actually had some butterflies and they were in the teal and the blues and the green colors. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to stick them on this spread. You know, I haven't used this. I'm going to use this now. Then I'm just checking to make sure that the Posca pan did not leak through. I apologize so much for, for the shadows. It was a very sunny day and I was enjoying the sun coming in, but it did cause some shadows uh, on my page as I'm doing this. So putting it back in and putting the ATC, you know, I'm, I don't want it to block or interfere with anything. I want the flow to still work. So that brings us to the end of this week's planner spread. Go through your stamps, find some little stamps that you have that you can use for bullets. Also look through those embellishments and see what you can find deep in your stash that you could give new life to in your planner spread. And as always, Please come join my Facebook group, All Things Mixed Media, Creative Katie. Next week is last Friday of the month. That means it's Final Friday Planner Collaboration.